Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I am bringing you guys an update video, and I know I haven't posted out anything in a while, and I know already people are starting to play NHL 17 already, but I think this video really needs to be made out first before I start making NHL 17 content, because uh, there's a few important things I want to say in this video before I start uh, doing all that type of stuff, and uh, you might have noticed for the past couple of years, I just have not been producing content the same way as I have been for the past, you know, couple years in NHL 13 and 14, NHL 15 and 16, uh, I just have not been the same as well, and I kind of want to explain myself a little bit in this video because I think you guys deserve to hear my side of the story as well as just letting you guys know how I want to change and improve myself uh, rather than, you know, point fingers at what, what's been going on and what's wrong because uh, I, I'm putting, I've been putting a lot of thought into this and I want to share with you guys some of my you know, idea on how to make this better. So first of all, um, I decided to opt out of the content creators program. And for the people that don't know what that is, it is basically a program where YouTubers and Twitch streamers get coins and packs every single week. And uh, that I think was the major reason why I haven't been like posting out content consistently. Because the first month or month and a half, I already would have like millions of coins stocked up and from a content creating perspective, it's great, you know, I can do my hut roulette right away, I can start producing content right away. But in terms of enjoyment, I just don't feel like I've earned those coins myself. Uh, like, I don't feel that connection with those coins. So I'm doing YouTube strictly from a content creating perspective rather than actually playing this game. I think that's one of the major reasons why I just have not been feeling the same. And I, I want to grind out this game uh, like I did back in NHL 13 and 14 when I was most loving this game for sure so that's why I've been that's why I chose to do with uh, YouTube at least opt out the content creators program and play this you know NHL 17 like any other person uh, who bought this game as well so and the only difference is is that uh, EA gave me some special uh, pre-order uh, copy where I get four of these gold uh, premium packs the 17.5k packs every single week and already here, it's too much of an advantage. It's like double of the Super Deluxe, um, the pre-order copy. So I decided, you know what, instead of opening these up and building up my coin toll, I'm probably going to save these packs up for like a couple of months. And I'll probably do like a huge live stream of me opening up like 30 or 40 of these packs. And I'll make sure to write down the exact coin total I have before I start opening up those packs, as well as like what's exactly in my collection. And every single thing I get from those 30 and 40 packs, I will pretty much just give away to you guys as a pretty much a thank you stream every single couple or month or so. And I will let you guys know on YouTube as well when I do those type of streams. I think I get those packs for about 25 weeks. That's about how many months? That's about six months worth. So that's going to be a long... Uh, I'll probably have three or four of those live streams throughout the year, and I'll let you guys know on YouTube when I do do those live streams. Therefore, this year, I want zero advantages. I want to play this game legitimately this time, play it properly, and I want to show you guys exactly how to play this game like a pro. Because I know there's a lot of people that still don't know how to make coins and still don't know um, how, how to play this game without spending you know money on this game. And I feel like I, I have that capability of showing you guys how to do that because that's my specialty it's how to make coins and how to play this game and uh, I haven't even shown you this but I've been playing this game for like a week and a half I have like 69,000 coins plus this Murphy that I bought from the market I didn't get it from anybody I didn't do any sets like I literally bought it from the marketplace because I thought it was a good deal and I thought I could make some coins from it but uh, right now he's worth about 200,000 coins so I'm close to about 300,000 with some of the players I have in my collection as well and uh, I want to show you the process on how I did this because, like, I have all this pre-recorded footage of me making coins, starting from the very bottom of having zero coins and working my way up. And I think a lot of you guys will find that interesting for the people that don't spend any money on this game and for the people that also spend money on this game but want to take their, you know, team to the next level. I can really help you bring you there for sure. And I think the first series that I will do with this pre-recorded footage is like a Road to Glory series on how to make a million coins. And uh, I think that will probably like be very soon i mean i'm already at 300,000, and you know you've heard that saying it takes money to make money and i'm already at that process where i'm starting to speed things up just a little bit on my money making methods and and uh, i'll be at a million coins very soon and i think i have a lot of good stuff to share with you guys that you guys will find very interesting so that is just something that i want to share with you guys that uh, i'm i will be doing a road to glory series uh, 
in the future at least. And uh, I want to just share with you guys that I, I want to take some steps in the right direction in order to make this YouTube channel better for you guys. And I want to be like, when you see a YouTube, a YouTube video from me, uh, you will get very excited for it because you always will see something a little bit different than before. And I think I had a problem with that before where, you know, I was doing everything from a business standpoint, everything from a content creating span standpoint where like, what is the thing that will get me the most views? And I do not want to take that direction this year. I really want to just play this game properly like any other person who bought this game and is working their way up as well. I think that's where I found the most fun when I first started playing in NHL 13 and 14. Like playing this game, grinding it out, building the best team. That's a whole point of Hockey Ultimate Team and I think that's where I need to uh, put all my eggs in the basket. I think that's where I need to like put all my focus on uh, for this year and I hopefully you guys will find that uh, that idea very exciting because I haven't, you know, played this game properly for the past two years. And finally, I'm starting to enjoy this game a little bit more. I'm starting to get a little bit addicted as well. And that's always a good motivation for me to start posting out YouTube videos and doing all that type of stuff. So this will be a very quick video. I just want to let you guys know what's been going on recently and how I want to make this content better for you guys. And uh, yeah, that is just about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it explained a couple things going forward with this YouTube channel. And definitely look forward to some more content because I'm definitely ready to post out stuff. And uh, it's been a long time since I've done any of that type of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.